Are you in the market shopping for a brand new third generation Tundra? Then you might want to listen up because on today's video, I am going to talk to you about the five common problems I normally see at the dealership regarding these trucks. And if you currently own one of these third generation Tundras, feel free to let me know in the comments if you experience any one of these complaints. Without further ado, let's get right into it, starting with number five. Now, a customer might state they experience a clunk or a pop sound on early startup or during cold start after the engine been sitting for a while. Now, the good thing is it's nothing inside the engine per se, but it's a reflash that Toyota wants us to perform on the TCM. So not the biggest thing in the world, but I got to note it down. We do have a few customers coming in complaining about it, but the good thing is it's just a reflash. Now, let's make our way down to number four. Now, a customer might complain that they feel a hesitation or a surge from a rolling stop. But the good news is it's also related to a recalibration of the same TCM. So depending on which concern you experience first, it might take care of the other one. So just a simple recalibration. No need to spend too much time on it. Let's get right on to number three. A customer might complain that I'm getting a check engine light and an active grill shutter message display on the combination meter. Now, if you make your way in front of the radiator grill, right in front of the bumper, you can see your active grill shutter right here. That's your fins and that's your connector going into the ECM. Now, the purpose of the active grill shutter is to improve fuel economy. Now, the way it works is, and it also improves engine cooling time and warming up the engine, a few other things. So depending on the conditions that the ECM is detecting, it will open and close those fins that you see there. Now, sometimes what happens is those fins, if they get stuck and the computer don't sense that those fins are moving, depending on what it's requesting, it will notice that it's not operating. It will set a check engine light and then you'll get a message on your combination meter stating active grill shutter malfunction, please visit dealer. Not the biggest thing in the world is covered under warranty, so we'll just replace your grill shutter for you for free. Of course, you won't be paying anything. Nothing to get you stranded, of course, but it is a complaint and we've been seeing quite a few. Now, let's make our way down to number two. Now, another complaint that a customer might experience is check engine light and an active spoiler malfunction alert. So a customer may see that on the combination meter and if you take a look underneath the truck, this is where your active spoiler motor would be located. This truck right here doesn't have it in particular because it's a hybrid model. Now the purpose of the active spoiler is for it to, as the ECM sees fit, when you start to get above 40 miles an hour on the highway, it activates and then that kind of simulates the truck being lowered it kind of improves the aerodynamic of the truck so that way all the winds not passing through underneath the frame and the suspension system so it's a way of simulating that you lower the car but over time for some reason that actuator breaks the computer detects that it's not moving sets off a light nothing that gets you stranded but they do break and we have been seeing quite a few in the shop now let's get down to our last and final complaint what i see all the time in the shop complaint number one Customer states that the driver's seat cushion shield is broken. Now, out of all the complaints that I listed today, the one that I see in the shop the most is this right here. This cushion piece tends to break. Now, I think it has a lot to do with the way the customers are inclined to want to exit their vehicle. They want to slide off. And it's because it's a truck. It sits a little high. But that's the number one concern, guys. As you can see, none of these are deal breakers. You can still buy this third generation Tundra and still enjoy it and not be stranded on the road. None of these complaints will get you stranded on the road where you will need a tow truck. But on some of these complaints, like the active grill shutter, active spoiler, you will experience a check engine light and of course as you know check engine lights can be a little annoying especially if you spend a lot of money on that truck the last thing you want to see is that little amber bulb light up on your combination meter so let me know what you guys think like i said if you own one of these tundras let me know if you experienced any of these complaints and if you did was it resolved any questions you might have feel free to type it in the comments and as always i want to thank you guys for watching until next time